And now, your first alert five weather. Good morning. It is Saturday and we are going to finally feel a little cooler. Late last week, we had a couple of hot days, including yesterday, a high of 94 in the Springs and 99 in Pueblo. Thankfully, we did get a nice cool down in the evening from some rain showers, but uh, Pueblo at the airport didn't technically pick up any rain. Now this morning, we're waking up at 69. It's quite mild to start the day. A little humid as well. You'll probably notice, especially on the south side of town, that it's a bit more humid waking up. Might have some dew on your car. Winds are out of the northwest at 11 miles per hour. So some cooler air has came in overnight, giving us that northerly component to the winds. And that will leave us cooler today. Thank goodness. 71 in Pueblo waking up this morning. So we do also still have some moisture locked up in the upper atmosphere. And what's really interesting interesting about the pattern we've got this weekend is this area of low pressure to our south. This is going to provide a very weird direction that storms will travel in today because the jet stream is way up north in Canada. We're not really getting any influence from that. It's this counterclockwise motion that will make storms move from east to west through the afternoon. So I'll show you that in the future cast in a moment. But storms will also be very slow moving because we don't have anything from the jet stream to push them along. So we do have flash flood concerns, especially for the southwest corner of the state in the San Juans. So through the future cast today, notice that odd direction in the storm motion as we head through late morning, early afternoon. These storms will start up pretty early in the day and they'll move from the I-25 corridor back into the mountains and foothills. And a few of these storms could have some heavy rainfall, maybe some pea-sized hail. Not concerned about severe weather today other than flash flooding. So do watch for ponding on roadways. And if you do have a flash flood warning issued in your area, it's best to just stay inside and to never drive through a flooded roadway. Now looking ahead to Sunday, we're going to start with a few clouds. It'll be quite mild and humid, 60s to wake up. And then in the afternoon again, we will have more showers and thunderstorms. This time they're moving in a regular direction from west to east, and uh, they'll be a bit more numerous across the region. Temperatures right now are in the 60s, 70s. Nice start to wake up today. Highs will be into the 70s in the mountains with more cloud cover. 80s in the foothills and I-25 zone. 90s will be found in the eastern plains. So looking forward to the next seven days, we're going to dry out early next week and peak on Wednesday at 91 degrees and thunderstorm chances do return to wrap up the week. So at least have that rain in the forecast. It's always good to see for Pueblo. We're looking forward to temperatures in the 90s for the next seven days, but the next few days will be certainly cooler. Canyon City, looking forward to rain lasting through potentially Monday, and then we will be seeing the return of rain chances Thursday, Friday, and for Woodland Park, you're mostly in the 70s for the week ahead. Wednesday will be the hottest day and dry, but we've got plenty of rain chances out there, so I am certainly happy with that, Renee. I am too. I just uh, hope the humidity can just calm itself <laughs> down just a little bit, just for people who have fluffy hair, you know, yeah, that would I make get, a difference. I get it. It yeah. never gets too humid in Colorado, thank goodness, but it's definitely feeling little dewy. Oh yeah, summer. I feel like I just took a hot shower outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Alex. We're going to check back in with you in just a bit.